what I was going to be when I got married, um, but I just trusted in God's timing, and now I'm married, so that's exciting. Um, so with that, um, Josh and I are now at a point where we are ready to expand our family and have children, and uh, we're having the conversations. <laughs> I'm not pregnant, let me just say that right now. <laughs> I'm not I, I see Audrey on his face be like, oh, is she, is she gonna say it? Is she gonna say it? Not pregnant. Um, but that's been hard for us because we aren't pregnant and that's something that we want. And so we're having conversations about what that looks like. Will we actually have children but on our own? Will we adopt children? Will we foster children? Like, what does that look like for us? Um, and we don't know. We just don't know. Um, but like as we wait and figure out what that looks like, we are doing our best <laughs> um, to be patient in God's faithfulness and to see what that looks like. Um, and Josh and I would definitely welcome your prayers in this area and for discernment. Um, God has continually provided for me, um, and Hebrews 6.19 came to mind too, and it says, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Um, so I just stand firm in my faith because Jesus has been faithful to me. Um, and I continue to place my hope and my confident expectation in God's promises in Christ alone, and that's what we all can do. Um, we can just be confident, we can be hopeful, because our God is faithful. Okay, now is the time that we usually, as a board, select two women that have been a part of the church, women's ministries, both the board and just a good woman of the church. We select two people that we want to acknowledge each year. So our first one is um, Susan Samuelson. Yes! Yeah. Our pins didn't make it in time, so I can't pin you, I'm sorry. But um, I just wrote a little note which says, Susan, we are so grateful for your service to women's ministries as well as to our church as a whole. You have been a part of youth group, served as secretary for women's ministries, and are now part of a powerful and God-loving leadership team. Thank you for your service, and may God continue to bless you.
Women's ministry is reaching and discipling women for Christ. Women's ministry is a fertile place for women to grow and learn together. Women's ministry is women walking together through life. Women's ministry is intentional. Incredibly difficult. Scary sometimes. <laughs> Women's ministry is necessary. Women's ministry is essential. Women's ministry is a privilege. Women's ministry is fun. Women's ministry is rewarding, uh, it's challenging, and uh, I think that women's ministry can really uh, further God's kingdom. Women's ministry to me is connecting women with Jesus and connecting women with others. Investing in other women for the glory of God. Collectively gathering women in all diverse backgrounds, stories, so that we can just unify them under the body of Christ. Women's ministry is word-based, and it should be multi-generational. All-encompassing ministry to the youngest woman in your congregation, to the most oldest, feeblest woman in your congregation, and everything in between. Women's ministry is complicated. Women's ministry to me is pointing others to the glory of God. Women's ministry is not a program. Women's ministry is everything I do for a woman to help reach her for Christ, to help her grow in her faith, to help her involve in ministry. That's what women's ministry is. Women's ministry is essential to our growth as believers. Oh. 